I want to welcome you to the Monday podcast of the Prodigal Son. You know, yesterday we talked about the the lady with the issue of blood that believed what she said. And the Lord gave me another scripture this morning, and I, I'm not going to, I want to uh, read my prayers today, but I, it just thrills me that what a turnaround faith will make. Glory to God. Uh, my prayers come out of Paul's prayers for Ephesians, for for the Ephesians. It comes out of uh, Ephesians one fifteen. It says, "Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight, so that you might grow in your knowledge of God." I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he called, his holy people who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now he is far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else, not only in this world but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ and has made him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is his body. It is made full and complete by Christ who fills all things everywhere with himself. Ephesians three fourteen says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from his glorious unlimited resources, he will empower you with inner strength through his spirit. Then Christ will make his home in your hearts as you trust in him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God that he has opened my eyes to his love and his mercy, his grace and his goodness. And I pray that for you today. Each and every person that walks the face of this earth, I pray that their eyes would be open to God's love. Oh, I thank God for his love. Now, let's see what God's word has to say today. Lord, I praise you and I thank you, God, for your word. Guide me. Use me. Lord, that you might shine through me, that I might be the light that I'm supposed to be in this world, the vessel that you can use. Lord, I praise you and I thank you for all you're doing in this podcast. All you're doing in the people's lives that listen to this podcast. Lord, guide me. Help me to be the vessel, the vessel that you can use in, oh, such a mighty way in this world. Lord, I thank you, and I praise you for all you're doing. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. I'm going to be taking my scripture out of Galatians. The first chapter, I was reading this chapter this morning, and, and that verse, I just couldn't get past it. I just had to stop and meditate on it, and and the Lord gave me a message on it. And uh, it's it. this is ta- Paul's introduction to the Galatians. And and when, when you read it down to the 23rd verse, it says, But they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preached the faith which once he destroyed. Now, that's the King James Version. I, I read this. I was reading this in the New Living, and it says, And all they knew was that people were saying, The one who used to persecute us is now preaching the very faith he tried to destroy. Now, I've, I've told this before. I used to preach a message. I remember where I preached it at up on, up on the mountain in Polk County. Uh, if, if, if God can use Saul, 
he can use us all. Now that was that was Paul's name before he we, he was converted on the road to Damascus. And what a change faith will make. What a turnaround Paul had in his life. There were people there were people in Paul's day that were deathly scared of him. I mean scared of him as 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 they would be a a a, a a you know a, a Mack truck or or something running down the highway and I like a lot of people say as, as scared of them as a rattlesnake I'm not too scared of snakes but but you understand what I'm saying they they had a fear of him because he so persecuted the church I mean traveled and put people in prison condoned on being stoned. But what a turnaround faith will make. Now, this woman, we talked about the woman with the issue of blood yesterday. You know, she, she, she had done all that she knew to do. And in, in the world that she lived in, she had spent every nickel that she had had. She had, she had done everything that she knew to do to get well and didn't. But, oh, what a turnaround she's seen in her life. How? Through faith. Through her faith. Through her faith in Jesus Christ. Through her faith in believing that if he, she did touch the hem of his garment, that she would be made whole. That thrills me today to be able to tell you that if you want to turn around in your life, if you've, if you've, I, I feel, this is something that, that's really dear to my heart, but if you're, if you're, if you've been raised in religion and all you know is a bunch of rules and regulations and shame and condemnation that religion brings into people's lives, there's freedom for you. If you want to turn around, if you want to see what God is really all about, start getting in his word and reading his word for yourself. Put away all the, all the religious uh, thoughts and, 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 and things that you have been taught in your life. I, I heard Keith Moore talk about it. He said, look, he said, if you can't find scripture to back up what you believe, you need to get rid of it. And I'm here to tell you that same thing today. Start, start uh, comparing your beliefs to the word of God. Now you want to have a turnaround, start believing God's word. Start having faith in God. Start having faith in what he said. And, and you'll see things change in your life. I, I mean, I'm telling you, I've never, I've never in my entire 51 years here on this earth seen as much change in my life as the last five years when I started believing and, and, and acting on what God's word says. It's miraculous. I mean, miraculous what God can do in a person's life if they will give themselves to Him, give themselves to the study and the and the the rooting out of the of the strength and the wisdom that God's Word has. I want you to see this. I want you to understand that faith in God will change you the way it did Paul. Paul was, was the most religious person that you could have ever thought about. He, he said, I'm a, I'm a Hebrew above Hebrews. I mean, he said he was born to be a Pharisee, born to be a, 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 a Pharisee of the law. And he, he was very zealous for what he'd done. But the thing of it was... He was wound up in the law and, and, and couldn't see what Jesus Christ really was. And that was the Messiah that, that was spoken of in, in, in the word, in the law, in the, in the Torah that they had. And, and he was blinded to that fact until, until the Lord spoke to him on the road to Damascus. And then what a turnaround that was when he, when he started having faith in the Lord, having faith 
and in in what God wanted him to do instead of what man's tradition had pushed him to do and convinced him that that was right. There's a lot of good people out here in this world, uh, a, a multitude, millions of good people out here in this world that have the best intentions whatsoever in, in their hearts. They, they think they are doing right when they are in constant condemnation and shame of people that, that just don't do things the way they do. They don't, they don't operate the way they do over music over over just the the style of their worship over anything i heard a minister tell a story one time and he said i was invited to a to a a, a college campus and uh he said to to minister and he said i go into this auditorium and he said he said it was just loud i mean these 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 young people were just 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 having a time and the music was just loud and and it wasn't traditional gospel music and he said he said the longer I stood there the madder I got and he said I'm in the back waiting to go out and he said I'm looking outside and he said this this kid comes up and jumps up on the on the amp and just you know he's he's in full fledged uh, rock mode playing the guitar and he jumps off on the stage and and people are just bouncing around do it just doing just cr- going crazy and he said lord how in the world he said how in the world am i going to uh, worship in this he said he said who can worship in this kind of chaos and he said the lord spoke to me just as sure as i'm standing here in front of you He said, obviously, everybody in here but you. He said, that's when I come to understand that that I wasn't always right in things that I that I done in my life. And the way I conducted myself just because a group of people didn't worship the way I did, didn't make them wrong. Didn't make them didn't make them uh, uh, second second rate to the God to God because obviously the Lord was was very was fine with what what, with what they were doing and he said I began to to bounce like they were and he said I bounced till I was out of breath and I quit and got my breath and started again he said I repented right there before I went out on that stage and and began to minister to these kids these kids were very open to the word of God but their style of worship didn't meet his his uh his thoughts or how he thought things might ought to go. But oh, what a turnaround that you can have when you will listen to what God says to your heart and and listen to what the Word of God says and have faith in God. Oh, what a turnaround you can have. He said, it's one of the best meetings I've ever had had the privilege of going and doing. Why? Because he didn't let people get in his way. He didn't let the things that he disagreed with get in his way. And he found out that what he was disagreeing with, the Lord loved because they were worshiping him. May not have been the way he wanted him. Uh, the, this minister thought they ought to be worshiping, but it pleased God, and that's all that matters. Now I'm not. I'm not. I'm, that's talking about worship. I'm not talking about the word. The word's going to be the word, regardless of what man thinks, and and that's what changed my my whole perspective on a Christian life. When I, you talking about a turnaround now, when I started having faith in God, having faith in his word and standing on what his word says and, and, and having the full assurance that what he said would come to pass. Why? Because he said it. Because it's true. Oh, I'm thrilled to be able to tell you that that woman with the issue of blood was healed by her faith. Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. And I'm thrilled to be able to tell you that if you need healing today, 
you can be healed by your faith. If you need uh, salvation today, you can be saved through your faith, through God's grace, by faith in Him. If you're, cons- if you're experiencing lack in your life, you can have that lack supplied. My God shall supply all your needs according to His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That is, that is faith in God. Have faith in Him. You want to turn around in your life? You want to see things change in your life? Just get a dogged determination that I'm going to believe God. I don't care if it makes everybody in my family mad. I'm going to believe what God says. I'm going to believe what His Word says. I'm going to stand on His Word regardless of what I see in my life. That's faith. That's faith. Faith in God. He wants to do a a miracle in your life. He wants for you to see miracles on a daily basis in your life. You know, as 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 Christians, as Bible believing Christians, things things miraculously what what the world calls miracles ought to be commonplace in our lives because we serve a a, a great God, a God that can do. Oh, mighty things, if we'll let him, if we'll believe him, and stand on what he's saying. It thrills me to know that. It thrills me to know that that I can count on, I can count on him. I can count on what, what he has said being true, and him standing up and, and believing it. Do you need a turnaround in your life? Are you born again? That's the, that's the, biggest, that's the biggest change that, that you can ever make in your life is allowing Jesus Christ to be Lord of your life. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. That's all it takes. All it takes to be born again. To be born into God's family. And be able to to accept and and, uh, receive all of God's blessings. This woman needed healing. That woman yesterday in 5th chapter of Mark needed healing. Paul needed a complete renovation of of what he was doing, how he was believing, who he was believing. And what happened? He got it. He got it. If, If God can use Saul, that being Paul, before he was converted, God can use us all. And that is so true. That is so true. God wants to use you in a mighty way in this world. Seeing people, seeing people born again through your testimony, through your love that he has shed abroad in in your heart, through his love that he has shed abroad in your heart, for you to allow it to shine through and let people see and understand, oh, just how much God loves them. It thrills me to tell you that. Those people, those people didn't know what what to say. Let me read that last part of that 23rd verse of the first chapter of Galatians again. It says, The one who used to persecute us is now preaching the very faith he tried to destroy. What a wonderful statement. What a wonderful statement. Paul went out of his way to destroy the church and ended up being its greatest preacher. Oh, thank God. Thank God what the the change that the Lord made in Paul's life. You know the the thirteen books of the New Testament is written by Paul. Oh, I thank God that he allowed 
the Lord to change him and had faith in him. Because we, we've, we've got this book that we, we hold dear to our hearts and believe it. And Paul was very instrumental in getting this in through to us, writing it through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. That thrills me to tell you that. If you're not born again, be born again today. Accept what Jesus Christ done for you. Confess him as your Lord and Savior. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. And then, then start, start uh, trying to uh, prove out what you believe in the Word of God. And if you can't find scriptures that go with what you believe, cast it away. Cast it away. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Let the Holy Spirit strengthen you. Let the Holy Spirit tell you what he would have you to do, where he would have you to go, and, and uh, where, you, where you should attend church. Oh, that's a big deal. That is a big deal, where you, where you go to get fed. It's, a sad, it's sad to say, but I'm going to have to say it. There's churches out here that do nothing but, but sow doubt, fear, and unbelief into people. And and a lot of them walk the streets today, will never go back. Why? Because they have no faith in God. They've never been taught to have faith in God. They've had, they have they have faith in what they feel and they feel like just they feel like failures because they've made mistakes, just like everybody else has. Oh, I thank God that I can stand here today and tell you if you'll get in contact with me, I will help you find a Bible teaching faith-building church that you can attend. They're all over the place. People just, people just don't realize that there's good churches out here that will teach you faith, teach you the Word, teach you to stand on God's Word and, and stand on it with you. Glory to God. Make Jesus Lord of your life today and watch Him change your life forever. If you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. It thrills me to be able to hear from people that have come to understand what I'm talking about today, and that is allowing the Holy Spirit to guide them and direct them in believing what God's Word says, and and they can count on it. It thrills me to say I've never Believe the word the way you have provoked me to believe it. I, and and, and that's, that's what I'm here for, is to provoke you to believe God. Not a bunch of religious tradition, but believe God. Believe his word. Stand on it. Stand on it. Glory to God. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to take just a second and talk to you about something. If you're not a partner of this ministry... Pray about becoming a partner of this ministry. We are putting God's Word out all over this world, the truth in His Word. And people are getting set free from the bondage of religion, from the bondage of the shame and the condemnation that religious, religious thoughts and, and religious ways brings on to people. The Lord loves you. He cares for you. And, and that, that's our message to the world. Pray about becoming a partner to that. Partners, thank you. I thank all the partners of this ministry that, 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 they, that they so faithfully into this ministry, helping us to put this message of, of grace and love and mercy and salvation out to this world. Glory to God. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com.